and if you want to work harder, both arms forward, hold on to the dumbbell with one hand, change hands in the front. Make sure that you are bending your elbows as you take the arm and the dumbbell back. Turn the palm of the free hand in the water so it's working as hard as the dumbbell arm. And you want to make sure that you fully extend the arms all the way to the back. Uh, that's exactly what I would say if I was teaching that exercise. All of that. You have to decide how effective you want to be as an instructor. If trying to get, trying to teach an apple class with limited demonstrations, limited words, limited instructions, limited everything, then you're going to get a limited result from your clients. And they might give you feedback that they can't follow, or they don't get a good workout, or they may choose to go with their feet and go to other classes. You get to choose how much you choose to put into your class and how you demonstrate your passion for that type of movement in the water. But as an instructor, you need to teach. You need to indicate all the bits and pieces, give as much information as possible, repeat yourself, because not always everyone can hear or absorb all the information, and so you may need to repeat yourself using different words. Especially for that final exercise or that level two, so you've got to get that extension to the back. You're going to have to work to teach this one, but other than that, that's this week's appetite.